Hello, sunshine. It's Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant back again on the red carpet for the 2015 Network Journal's 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business. And I'm here with Miss DuPont, Sandra DuPont. And I am excited to congratulate you on your award today. But the audience is looking in and wondering, why did you receive 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business? Can you tell us a little bit about your current position and what it is that you do daily? Sure. I am the chairman of education at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, um, which is an amazing place here in New York City. And it um, is two, two venues right now. It will soon be three. Um, and it's the largest museum in the Western Hemisphere. Um, with uh, many, many different collections. You can come and see the world actually in these, in, on these walls. Um, what I do there is actually I organize and oversee everything from operas to, um, to K through 12 programs and school change work. Um, so it's a whole array of things, uh, jazz performances to um, audience engagement initiatives. And so it's a vast body of work for a vast organization, for a vast community of people that we're here to serve. Well, we're excited about that work because that work exposes our community sometimes to what they've never experienced before by the different collections and exposure to the different performances that you have. What keeps you inspired on a daily basis? Oh, I mean, I feel like I work in a needs-based community or in a needs-based field. Um, I'm really interested in transforming museums into places where everyone feels comfortable going, but also feels like they themselves are custodians of culture from various backgrounds, various walks of life, and various interest levels. And so I think museums are the greatest Jeddah mind trick known to man that actually will inspire generations to care about each other. I love that. Museums are the best Jedi mind trick known to man. We're going to quote you on that one. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, to TNJ.com. This is Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant signing off and hope that you'll join us again for another episode for 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business. Hello, sunshine, and welcome back to the red carpet at the 2015 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business. My name is Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant, and I'm joined by Lana Regina Woods from Lana Woods Gallery, one of our honorees today. She's just fabulous from the inside out. You have done so much. You're being recognized today, not because you were seeking recognition, but because the passion that you exude was worthy of noting today. What inspires you to do what you do? Well, you know, I think it's so important to represent African-American artists and the great work that they do. And I feel blessed, actually, to have an opportunity to represent their works and to put their works in the hands of collectors, museums, and entrepreneurs. So I really enjoy what I do. It's a blessing that I have. Now, I started in corporate America, so I came from a slightly different place. But now I found a home and a passion doing something I really enjoy. So this speaks to the fact that you can start in corporate America and gain valuable experience, but there comes a time when that passion just gnaws at your spirit and you have to do something. What gave you the courage to take such a different turn? Well, you know, it's interesting. Sometimes things happen by happen chance, and sometimes it's divine intervention. And in this case, I think it was divine intervention for me. When I was at Warden Business School, we were supporting African-American businesses in our community and I supported an African-American art gallery. And that's where I learned the virtues of African-American art and collecting, and that there was an undervalued asset out there that so many of us needed to know more about. And I wanted to have that opportunity to bring our great artist story to us, because we have to tell our own story. We have to mark our own history. Absolutely, and I love it. Personal to me, my aunt is an African-American artist, so I must connect her with the gallery. But thank you for what you do, how you represent us, and let our story be told on our terms. So we continue to bring the best and the brightest in the class of 2015's 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business. Stay tuned. Hello, sunshine, and welcome back to the red carpet for the 2015 Network Journal's 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business. My name is Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant, and I am joined here by Dr. Scarlett, one of our honorees today, and we are excited to be able to recognize you, to be able to acknowledge the work that you've done. Please tell us a little bit more about what you do in your current capacity. Thank you so much. I am Chief Medical Officer of Mesoblast, a company that is de developing stem cells for tissue repair. So we are transforming medicine in the way we think about treating some very serious diseases. So instead of treating symptoms, 
we're restoring conditions, we're repairing tissues, and that's what the field of regenerative medicine is. This started about 10 years ago when we got the idea that we could do more than conventional stem cell therapy with stem cells that come from adults like you and me. So we've advanced this field tremendously over the last 10 years, and we're now in the final stages of developing these stem cells for clinical use. That is amazing, life-changing, literally, life-changing and life-saving work. It's such a new area that it's wide open for opportunities for young people seeking to get into it. What would you suggest if there's someone listening, they may be a high school age, college age, or maybe post-baccalaureate looking for something that they want to sink their teeth into to make a difference in the world? What would you say they do? I think getting your hands on an idea and sticking with it. So if you have a goal and you have a challenge, stick with that challenge and figure out how you're going to get from point A to point Z. Because this is a very challenging field where you're in a novel area, you might not have a footprint to follow, but you do have an idea and you have a passion and you have a commitment. And for me, the commitment has always been to leave any situation better off than I found it. And so as a physician, I would come across patients who had end-stage diseases, and I would feel really frustrated when I'd done all that I could for them and then had to deliver that message. So the driver for me was to get into this field and figure out a way to have something new to offer people and something new to change what would have in the past been a miserable conversation. Wow, absolutely amazing and inspiring that when there is a challenge or a problem, you look for the solution, whatever that is. Thank you for sharing those words today. Congratulations again to you. And ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned at TNJ.com as we bring you more from the red carpet for the 25 most influential black women in business 2015.